Hello children today we will start the fourth lesson of EVS that is hygiene our strength so all of you look here here you can find two pictures what differences can you find in these two pictures yes the picture on the left side is very neat and clean and the picture on the right side is very dirty isn't it we can find many waste everywhere so children now we will check a conversation between some animals hi uncle rat where are you going i am leaving the country dear mosquito what happened how can people like us live in this clean land i can't live starving like this you are right there is not a single drop of water lying anywhere to lay my eggs all my friends have left as life has become difficult may i come with you too my situation is equally miserable i am also coming money and fly join them too so this is the conversation between rat mosquito and a fly living in a very neat and clean place now we will check what are they talking when they reached this dirty place wow lucky that we came here our bodies have swelled in just few days mosquito yeah lots of food the best place for us we are never going anywhere else let's live happily here money and fly remarked joyfully so here when they reach this dirty place they will get enough food because we can see a lot of waste here and there in the picture these animals like mosquito rat and fly will get lot of food for their survival children which one you will prefer to live in yes the first picture because to live healthily our surrounding should be neat and clean we know that if we do not keep our surroundings neat and clean the animals like mosquito flies and rat will live in place and these creatures will spread different diseases now we will check what problems do these creatures makes this is a mosquito mosquito lay eggs and multiply in stagnant water it takes 8 days for the eggs to hatch and grow fully we know that the mosquito will suck blood from us isn't it yes so the blood sucking mosquitoes spread some diseases like malaria dengue fever and chikungunya so the diseases spread by mosquitoes are malaria dengue fever and chikungunya do you know which creature it is yes it is a house fly it is a very small insect seen in our surrounding these creatures are mostly seen in polluted areas and on decayed substances the house fly may sit on food stuff that is sweet or kept open this small creature will also spread some diseases like dysentery and cholera so the diseases spread by house fly is dysentery and cholera now tell which animal it is this is a rat we can see rat on roofs or in holes and this creature will bite and destroys whatever comes his way the rat visits the kitchen and storeroom in search of food the rat's excreta falls on these food articles spreading different types of diseases and the rat spread diseases like rat fever plague etc so the disease is spread by rat is rat fever and plague so children just imagine when the number of mosquitoes house flies and rat multiplies what will be the situation yes everyone will be infected with several diseases there are many organisms around us that are invisible to our eye that also will cause several diseases so children we must ensure that situations where such organisms multiply are avoided what can we do for this yes do not allow waste materials to accumulate avoid water stagnation observe personal hygiene personal hygiene means take bath daily brush your teeth wash your hands etc then keep houses schools public places etc clean the food and water we take must be clean the food that we eat should be kept closed don't eat stale food these are some of the precautions that that we can take to avoid the multiplication of such organisms 
and one more easy and simplest way to avoid multiplication of mosquitoes is observing dry day that means we know that mosquitoes multiply by laying eggs in stagnant water and we already told that it takes 8 days for the eggs to hatch and grow fully so children when we look around us there are many objects in our surroundings like coconut shells discarded vessels tires bottles toys etc where water can stagnate so here there are chances for the mosquitoes to lay eggs in these objects so drain the water accumulating in these objects once in every 7 days like this the possibility of multiplication of mosquitoes can be avoided so this activity carried out in our homes and in school is known as dry day